This month we've added uh, two new reports to the Ectaris demo. One covers allocations, so it allows you to allocate amounts from uh, a central headquarter cost center to multiple operational subsidiaries, but the principle works in any context, but this is one of the contexts where you have um, headquarter um, cost and you want to allocate them based on a variety of options to the other subsidiaries. This could be based on headcount or based on a allocation that you set. And in this case here um, we have we see the report that shows the all the accounts so I can do this for any account by different um, subsidiaries and then we have in this case we've set the HQ as the sending cost center so we have a hundred thousand cost here and this that gets distributed to the to the other entities and in this case it's based on a allocation that I can set here so I can do this here um, using the normal carries visuals so I can say for these two entities that are new that don't have anything I want to give them now um, an additional allocation or an allocation and I say here this is now so you can see this one automatically adjusted the other ones and if I add to the next one this is now again adjusted the other ones so if I'm finished I can save this now it has done the distribution if I refresh this so we had 63 and 37 we can immediately see what are the new values for the entities that make up the $100,000 headquarter cost. So this was for a manually defined uh, allocation. As I said before, this can be anything. This could also be based on headcount that we have in the HR planning or any other criteria. The other thing that I quickly wanted to show you is the new Ectaris reporting visual. We have already given a little preview for it and we're getting now very close to the release date but I want to give you a, um, a quick preview which we now have also integrated into the standard demo so here you can see now the new reporting visual and the cool thing here is you can on the one hand add your own calculation so here we have a gross margin calculation and you can define your own formatting so you see we've got underlines here we've got double underlines and you can do this just by going into the edit mode when you're in edit mode in Power BI. So we can here go to edit. So now we see the steps that have been applied for this report. So the first one was the gross margin calculation where we are saying the gross margin or gross profit is the revenue plus cost of sales. In our example, the cost of sales are negative. So there, there's a plus sign here. If um, you have them as, um, as a positive number, then you would use a negative sign here. And in this way, um, you can now set up all your calculations here in a very easy fashion. So if you want to have um, another one, let's say here with the revenue, and we call this uh, demo, and then you can just click on the all the elements in your hierarchy. So I could say now I want to have here revenue plus the cost of sales. Then I have immediately the calculation here. You can apply your own format. In this case, uh, the format is already um, pretty good, so we, we don't really want to change it. But what you can do as well is you can set styles. So we have styles here in the visual, uh, and you can set the style as you want it with you know all the different formatting options. For example, we could now say we want to have for the style one an underline, single underline in red. And then you see all the calculations that we've set up in the Terrace reporting visual will automatically inherit this style. So a great way to get to, uh, to realize the typical re reporting requirements that we still have here is the drill down. So the users can drill down in the hierarchy that you can set up here for the row. So this is unlimited. So you can use any, any hierarchy here and, and use anything that you have in your data model for the hierarchy. 
you have column headers so you can see we've got here the, the periods that are getting automatically um, extended on the right and then we have different scenarios here for actuals budget and absolute variance and yeah create your own calculations your own formatting the typical requirements in the financial report very easy available in the new uh, it carries reporting visual it will be released on AppSource very soon.